Kamala Harris and her lies are coming to light. Once again, as I stated in previous videos, there's so much you should know about a person before you go cast your vote or donate a grip of money to their organization because you really don't even know what you're donating to. Your hard earned dollar bills, I really don't understand it. Most of you are like me. You just want to see a black person in the White House. I get that. We've been robbed throughout history of our spirituality, of our land, of our freedom, of our ability to read. So of course, we want to see a black person in the White House. However, we want to know that this person is representing us, has our best interests at heart. She does not. Right about now, I just want to shout out the Pink Book Lessons YouTube channel. I don't know if she's on other platforms, but I know she's there. Go subscribe. Show some love to this sister because she's doing a lot of homework for y'all. I verified everything that she said. So it's not just a bunch of, you know, clickbait and hokey pokey shit. She's actually done her research. On top of that, Candace Owens is actually speaking the truth. Without further ado, roll it. And it was right. There's no argument about her mom's side. Everybody's in agreement that her mother is Indian. The part that was always sketchy was the Jamaican side. It was just weird that all these folks were so adamant about calling Janet Jackson's comments misinformation, but none of them actually did any research at all to verify Janet's claims. They just always went along with Kamala's dad, Donald J. Harris, was Jamaican. So that meant he was black. When anyone with sense knows Jamaica is a country, a nationality, not a race. I've had some Jamaicans in here laughing in the comments because they also testify that there are white Jamaicans, Chinese, Indian Jamaicans. They're all there too. Everyone on the island is not of African descent. The biggest lie that was exposed is Kamala the Cosplay and Chameleon showing a picture in her book of a lady named Beryl. She said that was her grandmother Beryl. Yeah, Kamala's grandmother is supposedly a woman named Beryl Finnegan. Someone her father didn't talk about much. This picture just popped up when Kamala was running for president the first time. You know, when she tried to cosplay as a black American woman all of a sudden. After years of running as an Indian American woman, she was desperately trying to blacken up her whole story. She went from propping up her Indian family to all of a sudden always talking about Howard and AKAs. Kamala the Cosplay Chameleon erased everything else, like her Canadian background, that most Americans didn't know about until a couple of months ago. Yeah, we're talking about the lady that's been in the White House for nearly four years. No one knew about her Canadian background. Her Indian mother raised her in Canada with her Indian family members. She went to middle school up there, high school, and started college there. Most of her friends were non-black women. Even now, Kamala's closest friends are white women. And listen, the woman isn't black American in any way, lineage, race, or culture. The only black in her was a black man named Willie Brown. We're talking about the married man that was a politician out in California. She was his mistress, and he used his political power to get her into office in San Francisco before they pushed her to be the AG of the state. But hey, if she wanted to be the president of the United States as a Democrat, she had to get real black support. And her days of sleeping with Willie Brown and going to these Hollywood parties were over when she married Doug Emhoff, a man who cheated on his ex-wife and allegedly was out here getting women pregnant as a married man. Very interesting, by the way. But yeah, Kamala had no real ties to black America, so she had to make up some and do it really quick. Now, how did she do that? Well, she took this picture of a black Jamaican woman and called her Grandma Beryl. This picture was taken in Jamaica around the 80s or 90s. The only problem is Beryl Finnegan, she died in 1960, four years before Kamala was even born. Based on all the official records, Beryl died in 1960. Kamala was born in California in 1964. So how could she be standing next to a woman in the 80s or 90s that died 20 to 30 years prior? As speculated, we were able to confirm that Kamala's black grandmother that she showed us in that picture died in 1960 before Kamala was born. 
I can show you right now her death certificate. Let's take a look at Beryl's death certificate, which confirms. As you can see there, it says that she died in July of 1960. It also tells us on the right-hand side, um, you guys probably have to zoom in on this, but she died of uh, a uterine infection, uterine fibroids, due to a hysterectomy. Uh, it has her listed as 39 years. That's actually a couple of years off from 1917, so somebody may have gotten their math wrong here. Uh, but you once again see that it lists her birthplace as St. Anne. And so this is a huge scandal. Just an absolutely huge scandal. Kamala Harris published in her book that she was standing next to her grandma Beryl. But grandma Beryl died in 1960, four years before Kamala Harris was born. So who the hell is the real Beryl? Who is that woman standing next to Kamala Harris? And on his paternal side, as I mentioned previously here on the channel, he was a descendant of a very well-known slave owner and politician, Hamilton Brown. Hamilton came from Ireland to buy land and slaves. He had over 1,100 of them and was paid millions of dollars in reparations after slavery was abolished in Jamaica. Side note, that explains a lot because Kamala Harris, remember she said she wouldn't do anything specifically for black people? So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. But on her dad's side of the family, she's got slave masters on his mother's side and his father's side. This is why for years, Donald J. Harris didn't claim to be black at all. He told people he was Irish and Indian. But when his daughter Kama, the cosplaying chameleon, needed to conjure up some blackness and find ways to relate to black Americans, she put up a picture of this woman right here who wasn't her grandmother at all. She straight up lied. How? Because there's no way you could be standing next to a deceased woman 20 to 30 years after her death. They had all of these white people in their family in Jamaica, but didn't show any of them. 